Hello, it is Thursday. It's the 29th of May. I'm Monita Rajpal. This is CNN News Center, live from Hong Kong. Our top stories today. In the search for Malaysia Airlines Flight 370, Australian officials have just discounted the search area they've been combing for nearly two months. They say the zone in the Indian Ocean where acoustic pings were detected is not the final resting place of the missing plane. The second phase of the search is due to begin in August and could take more than a year to complete. So where does this lead investigators and the families of those on board Flight 370? Four underwater pings detected last month had been the uh, driving search efforts up until now. Now an official from the U.S. Navy is on camera and talking to CNN and he says they were looking in the wrong place all along. CNN's Renee Marsh has more. It was the most promising lead and now we know it's false. Washington. Well, the U.S. Navy has since pulled back from the comments we just heard from Deputy Director of Ocean Engineering, Michael Dean. A Navy statement now reads, Mr. Dean's comments were speculative and premature as we continue to work with our partners to more thoroughly understand time. the data. Well, the Malaysian Prime Minister is on an official visit to China this week where relatives in Beijing are still grieving the loss of family members on board the missing plane. Najib Razak is due to meet with uh, President Xi Jinping and Premier Li Keqiang, among right. other E70. In eastern Ukraine, pro-Russia separatists confirm they've detained a team of European security observers. Four people from Europe's special monitoring mission Let's went missing on Monday. Live to CNN's Nick Payton Walsh. He joins us uh, from Donetsk. Uh, Nick, uh, the self-declared mayor has said that these four are not being held for ransom or for any sort of exchange. So why are they being held, did they say? Well, he told me that he'd advise them not to leave the net, but in his words... Right, Nick, thank you. Nick Payton Walsh said live for us from Donetsk. You are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. Still to come. Some of our most costly mistakes came not from our CNN restraint. CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. I'm Monita Rajpal. U.S. President Barack Obama says his foreign policy vision is one of might doing right, a strong military working in tandem with diplomacy. Well, Mr. Obama spoke to graduates at a U.S. military academy on Wednesday, defending his leadership on the world stage. CNN's chief U.S. security correspondent, Jim Shuto, reports. His West Point address build is a major new... Some of the other stories we're following here at CNN News Center. Chinese state media say the government has sentenced 55 people for crimes, including murder, separatism, and, quote, violent terrorism in the western Xinjiang region. 7,000 people watched the public judgments as they were handed down at a sports stadium on Tuesday. At least one person was sentenced to death. Islamist militants are blaming an American national for a suicide attack in Syria. A rebel group says the bomber was Abu Furara al, -Am al Amriki. CNN province. cannot independently. Nigerian officials have uh, revised the number of schoolgirls who escaped from Boko Haram during last month's attack and kidnapping. The Borno State Education Commissioner says 57 Ali. girls have been found for more than previously thought. Immigrants, uh, migrants, I should say, in France have been forced out of their makeshift camp near Calais. Police moved in on Wednesday to dismantle their tents, prompting a standoff with the camp's residents. Authorities say the migrants have refused to take steps to uh, control a scabies outbreak. After weeks of speculation, it's finally official. Apple is buying Beats for three billion dollars. Beats was co-founded by rapper Dr. Dre. The company makes headsets and has a music streaming service with about 500,000 paid subscribers. That's well short of its competitors, but owning a streaming music service is considered a key strategic move for Apple. Beijing is experiencing its hottest weather in years right now. Pedram Javahari is at the World Weather Center with those details. Pedram? Hey, Monita. Good Thursday afternoon to you. Yeah, you know, we're, we're talking about these temperatures getting up into the 40s. Uh, this is the hottest we've seen since the, uh, July of 2010. Of course, picture there. what's going on. 
Wow, we have nothing to complain about here then in the uh, late, I think, a high 20s, early 30s yeah. uh, temperature here. So, uh, yeah, I'll keep my mouth shut for that. <laughs> Petrum, thank you very You're much. Welcome. You are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. He's played in three World Cups and has been voted the Asian Football Federation's Player of the Year twice. CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. The World Cup tournament is less than two weeks away, but Rio de Janeiro is still cleaning up. Police and the Brazilian Army are cracking down on drug gangs in the city's in infamous shanty towns, but as Shasta Darlington reports, their efforts aren't always paying off. He's been called the David Beckham of Asia after playing in three World Cups. 37-year-old Hidetoshi Nakata is now preparing to head to Brazil as a pop-up cafe vendor. CNN's Human to Hero series introduced us to Japan's most famous soccer player and what inspired him to get into the game. Football is the uh, best tool to communicate with the people. In Japan's Hidetoshi Nakata, there in Human to Hero. You're watching CNN News Center. I'm Monita Rajpal, live at CNN Hong Kong. Thank you for joining us. I'll update you the news headlines in just a few minutes.